So I think that was okay. Here we are. We're going to start with your name and what Morsi means to you. My name is Bridget, and Morsi means everything to me. Um, basically, just because he never lies to me, he's always been honest and told nothing but the truth about everything, his life and mine. So. Thank you. Uh, my name is Joel, and I don't know what Morrissey means to me yet, so <laughs> I'm still working on it. <laughs> Thanks no, again. He means a lot to me, so that's all that matters. Thanks again. Do you want to get this out of the way then? Yeah. This is going to be attached to the film uh, My Life with Morrissey. Okay. And, uh, hey Jay, good, good. I to went see. to go to your website, and the link wouldn't let me through. Uh, it probably fall. It, it, too much, too much traffic. Uh, no, I put it. Traffic. Too much traffic. I'm here with Richard Blade, who helped break the Smiths and Morrissey here in LA with his radio show on K Rock back in the day. So uh, what we'd like to do is, we know you're a big fan, and Absolutely. we know you've done so much for Morrissey and the Smiths, and I'd like, I, I think we'd all like to know what, what does Morrissey mean to you? Well, Morrissey means great memories. I've had some of the best interviews uh, with anyone with Morrissey. He's really intelligent, he's really fun, and when you talk to the guy, particularly if it's live on the radio, you've got to be really on form because he actually has a, a little game that he plays with you. He tries to trip you up. He was talking to me one time about George Eliot. Uh, he was talking about English writers. He said, George Eliot, do you like him? And I said, yes, yeah, she's great because uh, he was just playing the game. But he's really smart, it shows in his lyrics, he's a great guy and he's an amazing performer. Thanks again, thanks again. Now, if, if he stumbles across this video, what would you like to say to him? Hey Morrissey, I went by your house this afternoon. I invited you to the convention tonight and I'm carrying my cell phone so you can give me a buzz. Why haven't you called, man? <laughs> thanks again, Richard. There you go, Jay. Richard. Okay, you want to get comfortable? We'll uh, oh, yeah, sure. just take a minute. Okay. All right. Uh -oh, hold on. There's a terrible light thing going on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's here? Okay. Oh, perfect, perfect. Now I'll, I can move over to there. When yeah. Hi. <laughs> okay, you ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Okay, we're here at the green room uh, backstage at the Smiths and Morrissey convention with these charming men, two of the members here. We've got Richard and Gavin. All the way from Ireland, they've come out here, and uh, obviously big fans. We've got a, an embarrassment of riches here with the fans. We All the best fans are right here, right now. Well, you could say we're big fans. <laughs> not be wrong, yeah. Um, it goes back a long, long way. I think, you know, having seen the Smiths as early as 84, and, you know, I was there at the right time, the right place. So, um, it just it just blossomed, as Morrissey might say, and I met Gavin. He was at the time playing bass guitar, and he was much younger than I was. Um, and we just hooked up and started swapping tapes and stuff. And um, the next thing you knew, we were making music ourselves. But we could never really resist the temptation of playing Smith songs during our own rehearsals. And it wasn't until years and years later that we actually put together these charming men and here we are <laughs> so it's uh, it, it did take a, a long time we didn't just you know as I say it took a, a lot of years to get here but it's good to be here <laughs> we love to have you so tell me uh, what does Morsi mean to you what does he mean um, if you look it up in the dictionary um, <laughs> what does he mean to me I think He's one of a kind. I think he's an absolute dying breed, really. Um, it's obvious when you listen to Morrissey's music that he was so m inspired by music himself. He is the ultimate fan of a lot of, in a lot of different ways, and he manages to put the elements of his favorite films and books and music together in his own songs and lyrics. And for me personally, and obviously other people that are here tonight. Um, he does it in his own ingenious way, and to me, he means the world to me. I wouldn't be here in Hollywood now if he didn't mean the world to me. So I just feel that he's unique. He's completely unique. Well, the way I, I would look at uh, Morrissey, he'd be, I'd be very influenced by him as a songwriter. 
I think he's a very passionate songwriter. He really, every word that he sings, he sings it from his heart. He's, uh, he means every word he says. And he's just such an influential songwriter. And I'm a songwriter, like uh, I write songs myself. And um, I think he's a fantastic lyricist and highly original. And uh, he's, there's very few around like him. <laughs> yes, indeed. He's very, very unique into himself. So uh, one last thing. If, if Morsi were to stumble across this video, what would you like to say to him? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we're these charming men. <laughs> um, I've had the privilege of actually meeting him, but I've about 27 questions I'd like to ask him uh, in the right atmosphere, you know. Um, I don't really have a message other than he knows, you know, how much he means to me. And, you know, I was lucky. I'm really glad I discovered him. And I hope he goes on. I hope he maintains his music for a long time to come. And we love the new material, by the way. <laughs> that would be. I'd like to say, like, I mean, that's uh, the ultimate, um, I suppose, dream for, for me would be is if he'd come to see us play. See, come see these charming men play, and that's for me. I'd be don't be shy. Come on, I'd be absolutely chuffed now. That would do it for me now. I, I'd like to think that he'd, 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 he he would approve of what we do. Um, but if he's out there, if he can come and see us, we'll, be <laughs> well, we'll let him in. We'll let him in. Put him on the guest list. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. Richard Blade was just telling us how he went by his house today and uh, gave him his cell phone number and said, "Hey, we, if we can work it out, he'll be here tonight." So, thanks again, both of you. Uh, this is going to be a great show. I've seen you, what, three times now. It's just great stuff, and thanks again for coming out. Thank, Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. All right, very guys. Much. Thanks for taking that time. Uh, were you talking to Richard Blade? Were you talking to him? Yeah, I just talked. To, we got him on tape saying that, so now I can freely say it. But last night when he told me, I didn't tell a soul because I, I thought, oh, I'm not going to betray his confidence. I don't want to. You know, it, Richard uh, it, it is, knows him, like a few people. Still on Cunion, dude. Set up the tripod uh, up here and basically interview Morsi fans just to say, hey, what is Morsi mean to you? And, uh, we'll announce it on stage, but uh, we'll set it up. We need to have a drink.
head tickets for two people on Virgin Atlantic to England, okay? All you're gonna do is sign up to win, okay? Make sure you sign up, just one entry per person, and then we're gonna get the four finalists on stage, and someone's gonna win a pair of tickets to England and back on Virgin Atlantic. So please sign up for that, because T-shirt booth, go out to the t-shirt booth and sign up. Also, they are having a raffle upstairs for my little cue card here uh, for a uh, Gibson Epiphone Les Paul Junior electric guitar. Said that like I knew what it was, but apparently they're really, really good if you're a guitarist. Uh, three tickets, five dollars, seven tickets for ten bucks. Go see them upstairs and get yourself a great guitar. We're gonna do a drawing for that after the band. What? What? That's a Les, uh, Les Paul guitar. There you go. Okay, all these banners. If anyone wants any of these banners to take home, we're giving those away. And that will be, uh, of course, with the balloon drop. And we'll take, bring the banners down after the band, not before. We're going to have uh, a, a uh, Name That Tune contest tonight. Yeah, we're going to have a Morrissey Lookalike contest. And maybe, maybe, if you want a tattoo contest, a few people have asked about that, so we're probably going to bring that back this year. And we've got loads of prizes, including uh, autograph, autographed uh, Johnny Marr CD, I think? Yeah, a uh, record, cool. And loads of t-shirts, loads of posters, you name it, we're going to give it away. Right now, if it's okay with you, you want to give these away first, or? Okay, we got some buttons and pins to give away, but first up, good friend of mine, known him for about 12 years now, Rebar and Yankee Doodles and all that. Uh, Jay Tando, he does a lot of acting, you might have seen his face on some commercials. He's working uh, with a movie right now, which would happen to be My Life with Morrissey, which is why he's here, and I'm going to give him the microphone, he's going to tell you a little about it. Hello, Moss fans, this is great. It's the biggest show, this is the greatest weekend of the year, right here. Thank you all. As Rich was saying, we have the producers here of the film, and they put together a little mini documentary of, of us with this problem that we have here as Morris fans. What we'd like you to do is come up to the third floor, and we've got it set up, and if we haven't talked to you already, please come up, show us your tattoos, tell us what, what Morrissey means to you. And if he stumbles across this film with this little documentary in it, what would you like to say to him? We'd love to have you. Right now we're going to play a little clip from the film for you. And uh, like I said, please, please come up. And oh yeah, Morrissey, he, he lives like right up the street. We got 1,500 people here. If we all scream at once, maybe he will hear us. And who knows? On the count of three, one, two, no, never All right, enjoy the clip.
All right, what we're going to do is we'll show the uh, video and the trailer when we do the contest in about 10, 15 minutes time. That'll give us a chance to get it re-queued up. It's so good, we want you to hear the audio as well. In the meantime, lots more free stuff coming up. The contests are coming up, and we've got Daniel standing by with some music in the booth. So take it away. I'll see you in about 10 minutes with the trailer and the contest. Okay, well, I'll, I'll hand you the mic for a minute. The format we'll do is we'll ask for your name and, and state that, and then uh, what Morrissey means to you. Well, Morrissey means to me, like, he's like an inspiration in my life as growing up as a teenager. Like, basically, like, isolation. And, like, his lyrics, like, just... The way, the way he sings it, the way they, the way they sound, what he, what he talks about, just life in general. Like, it just, it just, down to my heart, it just touches me. He means a lot to me. Morrissey's like a big inspiration. He's a real big influence, along with James Dean and Oscar Wilde too. Thanks, Johnny. Now, if you uh, you think that Moz would come across this this documentary we're doing here, what would you like to say to him? First of all, I would like to say that you know what, Morrissey, you you just keep on rocking. Don't ever stop. Sing your life. That's all I gotta say. Just keep on singing your life. Thanks. I mean, Thanks again. Yeah. All right. Well, first let's start with your tattoo. Okay. Okay, good. Right. Go right ahead. Oh my, that is a tattoo, all right. Whew. Wow, thank you, thank you. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll, we'll edit it so uh, we won't know that you're back. But uh, why don't you go ahead and talk and tell us, we'll have a seat here. My experience? Yeah, well, uh, first your name and then what Morsi means to you. Okay, well, my name is Ruben Perez and... Basically, Morsi means to me everything in my life. Uh, because of him, he made me the person that I actually am. Um, it's everything, it's lyrics to just the way that he is, you know, real loyal person and smart and, you know, he's it, he's the ultimate, ultimate thing in life, you know. So if uh, Morsi stumbles upon this documentary, what would you like to say to him? Oh, well, I'm pretty sure you hopefully remember me. Um, but, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I have no words to say really, you know, it's, uh, just uh, thank you for being you, you know, that's basically it, and um, that's it. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing, Ruben. Take care. Damn. First of all, I'd like to tell Morrissey, um, thank you so much for that virgin signing that you were there in the year 2000. Thank you so much for being loyal to your fans, and I'd like to thank you so much for being you, and I love your lyrics. They've um, touched me in so, in so many ways that I'm glad that someone else feels the same way I do. And I'd also like to thank you so much for letting me, for inspiring me into starting up my own band as well. Awesome, awesome. What's your band's name? Uh, we don't we don't actually have a name yet. We're, we're still trying to think about it as a group, but um, just, just to see Morrissey perform is, is something that I would like to be as well with the audience, yes. just, just the way he is with, with his um, fans. Thanks again, my friend. All right, thank you so much. All right, anybody else? Yeah, come on down. First, we'll start with your name and uh, what Morrissey means to you. Um, my name is Seth, and honestly, it's kind of hard to say, but just the words that he says and like reading about his life, I don't know, I'm sure a lot of people say this, but it seems to kind of parallel mine in a lot of ways about how he grew up and my, how I grew up, so it just kind of... I don't know, I just feel like I can identify with some things, I guess. Can't we all, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if, if you were to stumble upon this documentary, what would you like to say to Morrissey? I'd probably just say thank you. Just thank you. That's all. Very well said, Seth. Thank I you. Tattoos too. Oh, yes, please show us your tattoo. Okay. <laughs> Actually, my, my girlfriend kind of wants to show her tattoos, but she doesn't want to be interviewed. She's too shy. Understandable. That's okay. Oh my lord, what we got here? Right here on the camera. Awesome. His birthday? Oh my god. His handwriting. Oh my god. He wrote. Oh my. Excellent. Well, thank you. We got to see your girlfriend now. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. What does Morrissey mean to you, Emily? 
Morrissey means a very maladjusted high school experience in a suburban, all-white community. <laughs> I was a, I was very maladjusted in high school. I was disenfranchised, and all of the lyrics spoke to me in a way that only repressed suburbanite Mormons could understand. You know, so I had a, a locker, and it had from top to bottom Morrissey pictures. And I had my, my best friend, uh, Dale Bushman, and we were the suede heads in high school. And we were the only two people who knew anything about Morrissey in a huge high school, right? It was me and my buddy, the suede heads. And we got in a big fight over a poster once because I shoved it down my pants. And I'm all, no, you can't have it. And he's all, no, give me my Morrissey poster. You're going to bend it. You're going to ruin it. And I was like, no, it's mine. And I ended up with it, and I still have it now. He was so bitter. But Morrissey probably ruled my life for a good four years. Oh, wow. Wow. So, if you were to stumble across this documentary, what would you like to say to him? I'm so sorry you're celibate, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry you're not into women. <laughs> I think about it every day. No, no, no I'm just kidding. I don't well, know. I don't know. What would I say? What would I say? I would say thank you for the music and thank you for cushioning my painful high school experience. <laughs> thank you for your time. <laughs> Great, thanks. Take care. We want you next. No, no comment. Tom, come on down. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? Tom, our our lookalike winner here. We 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 know we know who you are, but we're gonna have you say it anyways. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you, thank you. And we got another one back here. <laughs> I love getting this. This is great. Okay. I've known Tom for what five, six years now. About since '98. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Wow, it just it's, time keeps rolling on. But yet another slam dunk win for this man right here. I got uh, well, yeah. It, it, I wish they had had more sing alike and dance alike, but it, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Okay, so let's uh, start from the top. What what does Morrissey mean to you? Well, Morrissey's had a great influence in my life. I've been lucky enough to have a slight resemblance to him at times. And because of that, I've met some wonderful people, and I want to thank you, Morsi, for that because um, you've brought Morsi. You brought a lot of joy into my life, and I'd love to meet you someday. I hope he gets the albums that I make for him. I've <laughs> made some albums for him, and uh, just have a lot of stories. Before I even knew what Morsi looked like, I was. This is in '89. I was into uh, Last of the Famous and How Soon Is Now, and I went to a New Wave '80s club. And in front of work one day, this lady at the hot dog stand, she said to me. <laughs> Um, that's hot talk, Stan. Um, <laughs> that wasn't good. Uh, she said, you know, you kind of look like Morrissey. And I had heard the name and I knew the music, but I couldn't really put a face to it. I said, okay. So, And then the first video time I saw him, it was the um, Stop Me If You Think You've Heard This One Before. And I said, you know, that guy looks pretty cool. <laughs> and basically ever since then, um, these conventions every year are a highlight for me. I come down and have uh, vacation and really enjoy it. I've met some wonderful people like Thank yourself, you. Jay. You and I found that Morrissey fans have a connection. I was in Austria in 92, about 10 years ago. Met a buddy. Um, he's a Morrissey fan. To this day, we correspond. I've been over twice to see him. He almost made it this year. But just oh. because we're Morrissey fans. So you really find that there is a connection. There's something when you need, meet another Morrissey fan. My best friend, I work at a traffic court in San Jose. And I was working in public service. He was coming in to take care of a ticket. And he saw me, and he told the security, he said, can I talk to that guy? He said, he's a Morrissey fan. So just from seeing me, he knew I must be a fan. Oh my God. We went out, we met, and that was in June of 94, and he's my best friend to this day. <laughs> so just little stories like that, and they go on and on, and, and I really owe that to Morrissey. Wow, that's, and, um, wow, that goes back. Well, in, in closing, if, if he does stumble upon this documentary, what would you like to say? I'd like to, again, uh, thank you, Morrissey, for the impact you've had in my life and uh, a lot of joy, a lot of friendships, a lot of wonderful moments, and um, a lot more to continue. And I owe it to you, Morrissey. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Great Thank job. you. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with your name and what Morrissey means to you, and then we'll move on to your friend. Okay, my name is Christina, and to me, Morrissey is like a lifestyle, like a lifestyle that everything that I've been through, like he sings it. And I just connect with them really well, with the lyrics. 
So if you were to stumble upon this little documentary we're doing, uh, what would you like to say to him? <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just like... I'm just glad he's alive and he's still doing music right now and, you know, he still cares about his fans. And, you know, just keep on writing the songs and, you know, that will reach us. Thank you. Moving on, your name and what Morrissey means to you? Lisa Maria Cotto. <laughs> and it just means music. That's all it means. Anything, well, I, obviously you've already said what you'd like to say, but uh, anything else you'd like to add to that? Nah. Well, thank you ladies for taking the time out to come up here and, and uh, present yourself. Thank you. We got about 50 in line and about another 100, uh, like the band, all the vendors we got before they opened the gates. And I've personally done another 50, Andrew's done about 50, we got 150 total. So uh, now it's thinned out because the band's playing, but ready to rock and roll? Okay, here we are. Um, we'll start with your name and what Morrissey means to you. Um, my name is Nicole and basically Morrissey is He's the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, he's really, he's inspired me in my writing and my photography and just my way of thinking. And um, he's basically people come and go, but Morrissey will always be there. So if you were to, you know, stumble across this little mini documentary we're making today, what would you like to say to him? Um, I mean, not to sound like everybody else, but I basically would say Morrissey, you know, don't ever stop playing music and um, there's a lot of people out there that care for you including myself and um, come have dinner at my house <laughs> <laughs> that would be quite the meal right there well thanks again Nicole that was very nice to take some time and share this with uh, fellow Moz fans thanks again Thanks. <laughs> your name and what does Morrissey mean to you hi I'm Jose Maldonado I'm the uh, lead singer of the uh, Morrissey and Smith's tribute band known as Sweet and Tender Hooligans. Uh, we've been together uh, performing uh, Morrissey's material for God over ten years now. Um, so, oh, that's right. uh, so it's uh, what does Morrissey mean to me? Um, I, I just sum it up in the way that uh, the way I've always sort of told it. I guess is that uh, each and every day of my life is always just that much better because his songs are always a part of it. So, um, what he means to me, it's uh, difficult to uh, put in, some, in, in, in words, you know. He's just a, a brilliant uh, artist, a brilliant songwriter, a brilliant person um, who just seems to always know what to say. <laughs> so, if, if this were to somehow stumble into his uh, DVD player, what would you like to say to him? Oh, gosh. Um, Wow, well, you put me on the spot here. <laughs> um, well, um, I guess I would say to Morrissey that um, doing uh, doing Sweet and Tender Hooligans um, all of these years, um, I've I've only done it out of love and respect, out of the highest love and respect for you and your your art and your uh, your message. Um, your songs, each and every one of them, are like a um, like a dear friend that I uh, never get tired of seeing. Awesome! Thanks again, Jose, for taking some time and doing that. You, uh, you realize this is for the My Life of Morrissey DVD? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to just say something? Oh, like oh um, yeah. Actually, per, uh, this is kind of a personal thing. Yeah, sure. He, uh, <laughs> I'm angry because this guy did this film. Yeah. It was in the can for a year. It didn't tell anybody. I, I thought this was my friend, right? He didn't, but no, he didn't tell anybody. He didn't even tell his own band. Right. So we go to the screening, and who plays Morrissey but Jose Maldonado? Well, there you are. Yeah. So, so give us a little background on that. Um, like I said, I didn't. Well, like you said, I, <laughs> I didn't tell anybody because um, I guess I didn't want to jinx it in case it didn't come true. So. Um, Plus, I also thought it would be a fun surprise, I guess, if everybody, you know, all of a sudden said, oh, hey, look, <laughs> there's Jose. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so sorry I didn't tell you, but that's hey, why. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> uh, this is a little off the subject because this is about Morrissey, but i got to say something about Jose. Uh, I 
I moved down here uh, from Seattle in, in 93, 10 years ago, and uh, within a couple of days, I'd heard of a club that uh, hosted by a DJ named Richard Blade that uh, sometimes they actually played Smiths and Morrison music. And the guy who told me this, I worked with at the time, he liked my hairstyle. He said, you are a Smiths and Morrison fan. I said, yeah, you, how'd you guess that? And, and so I went, and the very first guy I saw there that night was Jose Maldonado. And I looked at this guy's hairstyle, which has not changed, not even a millimeter, in 10 years that I've known him. I looked at this guy and said, this is going to be my best friend in L.A., and, and he oh. has been. He has oh, been great. just, at, at, we are an embarrassment of riches when you go see this guy perform. True musician, and he is completely devoted to Morrissey, and, uh, and having the luxury of actually meeting Morrissey, I got to say that this, this is the tribute right here. This guy's Thank music you, is great. And yes, we like these chumming men. These, they are very, very good. And some day great might group of guys, F fantastic uh, bunch of guys you couldn't meet. Uh more uh, charming men in your life. <laughs> That's right, and, and, and my dream, and I, I think it's Jose's too, is we'll get these guys together and we'll get a double bill going, and uh, that'd be the, that would be the ultimate, oh. the ultimate. No, that, that'll happen. That'll, that'll one day happen. If it, if it doesn't happen here in Los Angeles, it'll happen in Ireland. I mean, we've, we've talked about it, so, uh, you know, I think, it'd be, I think it'd be fun, and, you know, we'd uh, love to swap lead singers for a <laughs> song or two. Why not? That'd be, uh, that'd be a blast. Well, look for Jose in a lot of different things. Uh, one of the other ways we know each other is we keep running to each other on movie sets and commercial sets and right. Right. Uh, you know just in clubs and whatnot. So, uh, look so for Jay in an episode of Willing Grace uh, <laughs> coming out of a <laughs> elevator. Uh, that would be ER, and that would be Jose back in the day. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun in this town, and I want to thank you, Jose, for being a part of my life and part of this Moz universe. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Hello again. Um, here we are. We're going to start with your name and what Morrissey means to you, and then we'll move on to your lovely girlfriend here. Okay. My name is Hugo Sanchez, um, and I think Morris is a good singer and also a good poet. Um, he has his lyrics are very um, interesting. I love the way he uh, pro produce, well, actually produces music, and at the same time, what he tries to uh, send a message to the people out there. At the same time, um, you know, he's a, he looks like a very humble guy. He's very, you know, in very in touch with the He's uh, people that like, like him, love him. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. My name's Leah Alvidrez, and um, basically what Morrissey means to me is he's just such a, he's just got this great, 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 great inner self thing that I just love about him. I mean, he's just fantastic. I mean, every time I'm down, I have to listen to his music. That's the only way I can either bring up myself or anything. Morrissey's just unexplainable. He's just a phenomenon. He's great. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate your time. All right, thank you for your help. Man. You bet. Nice help to meet me? you. <laughs> you too. Maybe Enjoy you the band. Uh, thank you, and um, thank you for letting us. Go ahead. Well, here we are. In closing, I just love to say, and I, and I think I speak for Morrissey fans worldwide when I say thank you. Thank you. I'm flattered to be a part of this and to get to share all the other fans uh, what they think of you with with you and I hope you someday slip this into your DVD box and and, and watch it and, uh, and realize just how devoted this is just a small tiny fragment of the fans throughout the world that you have changed and touched and I want to thank you for that thank you for watching and uh, enjoy the movie That's so rumored. That light is very bright. First of all, your name for the camera. Michael Ray De Leon. He's the bass player for the Sweet Tuna Hooligans. That's Fantastic. It. What does what does Morrissey mean to you? Well, Morrissey means a lot. Okay. And uh, let's say he stumbled across this little video we're putting together. What would you like to say to him? I would like to say that uh, my number is uh, five 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 four nine three one. If Gary Day ever gives you problems, you can always call me. You really has got a, the biggest lipstick mark on your cheek right here. Just, just to let you know, the or, world's going to know this. Or so I've heard, yeah. Okay. I'll give you more problems than I already admit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,
doing all that he's very little.
to say I really want to be on the constraints of my